I am back on the Minecraft server with another wonderful house that I have built. And this is the first A-frame house that I've built. Um, and yeah, I thought it turned out extremely well for what it is. I mean, it's just an A-frame house and it looks just spectacular. So I'll just do a little fly around just to show you what you're in for and just how this house is built so I use several slopes rather than just a complete A-frame I decided to add this extra um, curve right here not curve but you know and so yeah as I said this is the first one I've ever made and I think it turned out real well and You'll see that I ended up doing this around some of the uh, ends of it, and I thought that really pulled it together, and it made it less bland, I suppose. And I added in this sort of like stairwell window, sort of to go along with the A-frame. And I thought it turned out very nicely. So let's go on the inside and maybe take a tour of the car and stuff. Uh, and then I'll do some more on the outside and just explain it a little bit more. So you go up and here's the driveway. Uh, I want to start a neighborhood here. So that's why you're going to see this small street rather than the road. Uh, so you come up and there's a nice car here under this makeshift garage sort of like canopy thing to cover your car. And so the only thing that will really fit is a sports car. So decided to build a sports car and it looked ended up looking pretty nice I built a few of them on the server so it's not too hard to make and then he got onto the front porch and the front porch isn't much it's just it's just here you can sort of hang out look outside look at the beautiful buildings so we go inside and we have a different door it's a glass shut door and I thought it looked really nice. I also did it for the back door too, as you'll see, except it's a block higher. And as soon as you come in, you notice a bar. So right here we have some really small bar stools, some beer taps, and a wine rack. And I thought it turned out really nice. I decided to put in a little light, so I used the world edit to put in a pot there with a glow, piece of glowstone above it. And it ended up looking really nice. I wanted to go for more of a minimal, minimalist type of look on the inside, so I did do this sort of like stairwell up, kind of go with the A-frame style pictures, and I had in a really small sort of fountain, I guess, and added in some buttons for details because I really like how those look. So. You go in, and here's the bathroom. I actually didn't put a door here, so let me do that real quick. Doors are right here. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> so you put a door, and you have the bathroom. So I thought the bathroom. I decided to use a lot of world edit in here. So you have the tub right here and you cannot usually do this but I think it looks really nice so you have a cobblestone wall with the um, lever pointing out of it and it sort of looks like a spigot and I thought that looked really nice and for the toilet I also used world edit for this or wait no I did not use world edit for this did I no I didn't so it's just snow layers with a piece of carpet on top of it, which looked real nice. I wanted to make it another snow layer on top, but it kept disappearing for some reason, so I just stuck with a carpet. And then we have the mirror. Well, what's supposed to be a mirror? You can't really see out of it. And a faucet and a sink. So that's really it for the bathroom. And as we go down here, we have the living room and we have a large door to a balcony outside which looks really nice it gives you a nice view of the woods which will soon be a house so yeah we have like these little supports struts coming out 
to support the A-frame so it doesn't fall on you. And we go inside and I really like this outline of buttons that goes right beside the door. It looks really nice to me. So right here we have a couch and the couch is just looking at the TV. I did want a fireplace here but fire spread is on so it caught everything on fire. So I just stuck with, there's actually glowstone and these are snow layers. Since snow, we made it so that snow doesn't melt, it works just fine for hidden lighting. And yeah, and right over here we have a dining room table with the nice minimalist looking buttons right there. And a kitchen right over here. And the counters I thought were extremely good looking for what they are. So the counters are just the snow layers. It's sort of like the toilet. It's the snow layers with the carpet on top of it. So it, like it gives you a spot where you can maybe put some silverware or knives or something under there. Sort of like extra storage. And we have this fridge. It's not functional. I guess I could put a button somewhere. But I don't think it really needs it. So yeah. Kitchen. Just a normal kitchen. Ovens. Fridge. Counters. Stuff like that, and we have this really nice carpet in the middle of the living room and the kitchen, which I thought was sort of original, not really original, but it fit well off the house, I like the green in it. And uh, the, my favorite part about the kitchen is that it sort of like goes underneath the stairs into this sort of like room that sort of flows in with the house. So let's go upstairs and immediately you'll notice like these paintings and stuff in this sort of like cubby that goes up the stairs. And oh yeah I forgot I also have these little lamps that hang down which I really like. I expect them to end up this good but yeah they look really nice. So up here we have the bedroom another uh, sort of modern carpet and we have shelving unfortunately it's like half a block up so I can't like put a pot on it or anything but that's fine right here we have a bed so that's snow with carpet on top and some layered bed coverings and right here we have a dresser you can like pull out the drawers and it sort of indents into the wall which I like and right next to the bed is this balcony. I was thinking about putting chairs up here, but I think it would look better with nothing in it. So yeah, I just decided to keep it plain with nothing. And yeah, you can again look at all the beautiful houses and yeah, it looks it's a pretty nice view. So I think that is pretty much it for the interior. I really love doing the interior. I usually don't like doing it, but this house is really fun to do. So let's go outside, and this is what I just finished up doing before I recorded. Uh, I made a back porch. So uh, when you go outside, you have this sort of like fire pit where you can roast marshmallows or something. And we have this really cool awning. Now. It used to be like half a block lower, and it kept this fire kept burning these slabs, so I had to raise it up by half a block and then put these stone supports over it. But it made it end up look more supported, which I really like. So, besides the awning, we have this really cool looking picnic table, definitely modern, definitely something I like. So you can just sit out here maybe roast some burgers over the fire and come over here and eat so yeah um then right over here we have a pool I, I guess it's not really a pool but it looks amazing so we have this little floaty inside of it I guess <laughs> I just decided to add something in it so this pool I guess goes all the way down into Lake Matthias which is what I'm gonna call it because I wanna own the lake and like put some cool buildings around it and if you wanna get over to the other side there's a really cool bridge right here and 
Yeah, so you can like play with your dogs or whatnot in this large area you have in the backyard. And you're all good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this house. I know I loved building it. And, yeah. So if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I really hope you can learn something out of this building and get some inspiration and take some ideas out of it. And I will see you guys next time.